Okay, so what's, what's your opinion on La Al Point? My opinion on La Al Point. La Al Point was there before you, before I. And um, I moved from Milani about 10 years ago. So I'm as white as rice. <laughs> some people accept me here, some people don't. And that's perfectly fine. But what I see here with that is that uh, apparently there's been some wrongs committed, you know, that occurred way, way, way long in the past. And the ability to forgive definitely lacks in this equation here. So basically, I think if there was a forgiveness on both sides, the community and the now new Molokai Ranch, I think progress could be made where you could reach a happy medium. Because right now, the way it exists, there's no happy medium. And yes, you know, Lao Point. Uh, me bring some good things to Molokai, but what, after being here for 10 years right now, I really don't think so. Uh, they say there's going to be construction jobs. I'm in construction. I have not seen uh, over $10,000 in income come to my company, electrical contracting, come from any development at the West End. Because they bring on their own contractors from, uh, from California, wherever. I was at the Paddlers about a few months ago, and I heard a bunch of our... Uh, New Malahini residents cackling, and that's what they were doing, cackling over a few beers, and says, you know what? And they're bragging to each other, said, I can get labor cheaper here than if I bought wetbacks from Mexico. And that really disturbed me because, you see, if you're coming to Molokai and trying to make a profit, which most of them do, they come, they build this nice mansion, they try to, uh, you know, import as much as they can, don't use local labor, and they do sometimes, okay, and they sell it. They sell it, boom, 20 seconds later. They made their profit, a new owner comes in. Hey, that's what it's all about. That's the way it's done throughout the world. But if you're gonna do that, I don't think that's gonna be part of the equation here. But if you do here, you first of all do like a developer does when they come in Maui, Honolulu, mainland. Hey, you come with something to eat. Hey, come, this is what I'm gonna do. You know, this is what I'm gonna do. And what do you think, you know, about this? And let the neighbors come, talk story, you know. And right now they don't. They just send a developer, uh, a, 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 how do you say, a consultant, like we had yesterday. A great demonstration of what happened yesterday at the uh, Board of Variances Appeals for the County of Maui. He hired this person from, uh, a couple from New York, hired a consultant here, Arth Parr, to go before the Board of uh, Variances Appeals, put the public notices, and... Uh, try to seek a variance from the current 31, 35 foot zoning to go three stories on Molokai. It'd be the first time it ever happened, okay, uh, on Molokai. And I thought that was going to be opening Pandora's box. And sure enough, that did open a Pandora's box. We called everybody out. My son sent an email. Matt Yamashita got involved. We got everybody out there. And just recently, they stopped that. The first one did get appeal, uh, approved was for the fire station, but that's a municipal concern. So the all point, to be concise, I don't think we're going to get any revenues from that. You know, one guy from the West End offered my son seven bucks an hour to come help him pour a sidewalk for four hours. And I told the guy, I said, you know what, my son's in college, you know, yeah, seven bucks, that's a lot of money to him, like he was a junior. It's going to cost him 10 bucks of gas to get out there and two back. And it's going to make $28. You know what? I'm going to not take this message from him. And I, I, I said uh, an unpleasantry, I think. I think I did. Because I was a little emotionally attached to the situation. But I didn't use the, the flaming word, you know. And I said, you know, I'm not going to take the message. But Lao Point, I think, uh, I think we can do without it. I love the aloha here. Uh, the Malahinis that come here, I hope they get involved with the community instead of telling us what to do. And, you know, 10 years, I think I paid my dues. I've been licked every which way, whatever it is, you know, by the locals, by the, you know, it doesn't matter. But uh, that's just my opinion. I've seen Milani grow, okay? I've seen uh, Save Sandy Beach. I've seen Save uh, Olomana. That's back in the 60s. Now we're saving uh, Honolulu Bay. It's all about keeping the aina the aina, you know? And that's what it's all about. And that's just my two cents. All right? Yes, thank you very much. Hello from Molokai. Nice my friends in Milani. You guys <laughs> just never knew, right? We'll talk right. to you.